What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode three of Turf Talk with me and Coach Wood. <laughs> I just wanted to laugh. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, I can't read either, so that's is... why I teach history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that explains. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Uh, we got a good episode for y'all. Um, no special guests this week. Um, just me and Coach Wood, what we're all about. Um, turf talk. And yeah, we'll start from here. Good stuff, man. Yeah, welcome everybody. Um, yeah, so we'll just do a little uh, kind of recap what's going on with. Bomber athletics right now. Yep. A whole so, lot of good things. Yeah. Um, baseball still kind of full in effect. Yep. Um, you know, season's not quite – wins and losses, seen, season's not going like, we, like we'd like. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the end of the day, we're getting better and we're having a good time doing it. So right. and that, that's all that matters. And playing the right way as far mm-hmm. as attitude, effort, all that stuff. So – uh, so yeah, um, be glad when we get all of our injured guys back. Yeah, we have a lot of people on the IR, a lot of kids on the IR. Yeah, kind of keeps our death down. I mean, we played played a, a game with eight people yeah, the other day. So we did. Hey, got that dub. And we did win. <laughs> we did win with only eight players. Not be small, but we are mighty. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, track's going pretty good so far. I think they've. Yeah. Uh, you know, represented themselves and Frederick pretty well. They, a few medals were won at the first track meet at Cash. Uh, they finished second in the four by one, third in the four by two, and third in the four by four. Good job, Jack. Good job. Yeah, I mean, they're putting up faster times right now than they did at state last year which are PR yeah. in the relay. So That's good. they're getting faster. They're faster for sure. And, uh, yeah, and I think they're – they even – this last week they ran it out this and put up a PR or a faster four-by-one time than in all the other ones this year. So, and you know, Tyler said they uh, messed up the handoff pretty good, him and Braylon, you know. So, so they could have went faster. So they could have went even faster. Probably wow. could have got in the 44s. Because they were 45-3, and they messed it up, which easily cut, you know, five-tenths to a full second off their time. Uh, It was a big track meet. There's a lot of uh, 5A, 6A schools there. Yeah, that's what Tyler told me. Elgin, uh, Lawton, Lawton MacArthur, Altus. Now, Hobart, Hollis, and Frederick were there. Um, And Hobart was really the only small school that competed with Frederick. So they just had some uh, – I think they had probably had more runners. But yeah, it was good. The 4 by 2 where they ran without Tyler and um, had a really fast time. So a lot faster than, I think, uh, the first meet. So, yeah, I mean, it's – yeah, rock and roll. And they're supposed to run Tuesday and Thursday this next week. And they're just like us. They got regionals, you know, that last week of April. So look forward to that. So, how's golf going? Our, everybody needs to know we're in the presence of, uh, you know, a champion right here, Frederick Golf Tournament. Individually. Yes. Individual champion. Yeah. Uh, the Frederick Golf Tournament, we got second as a team. Um, and then I got first individually. Uh, Grady got third individually. Dalton, my, my brother, Zach, got a seventh. And Dalton got... 11 and Ethan got 26 I think so, out of how uh, many and individually there's probably 40 or so not bad yeah. Ethan hasn't been playing golf very long yeah so. it's good yeah Ethan got yeah. 26 and he doesn't even play golf so really good. really good good yeah good stuff but yeah. yeah uh your old golf coach was telling me uh shout out Brett Tyler <laughs> tell me you played really well yeah. Uh, on the front nine, it wasn't until like the last few holes that you. Yeah. Uh, that... I did. I uh, birdied three holes and I had one eagle putt on the front nine. And then on the back nine, I had 
four birdie putts but missed them. And then last three holes, I bogeyed. So. He also said Grady was playing well, too. He was. Was actually ahead of you going, going into the last three holes. Me and Grady were going head to head at the very end. Really. Yeah. So that he ended up hitting a double, right? Mm -hmm. That caused you to pass him. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff, man. It's, Golf is fun. How you know we're competing against each other on the same team, so we're going to yeah. be a pretty good team. Yeah, and you're on. only sophomores, so yeah, that's true. You, know, you guys will be around for a few more years playing, mm -hmm. trying to make that state tournament every year. Hashtag road to state. Good stuff. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, you know, speaking of golf, Team Zane Gang had us a little outing a couple weeks ago. That's right. Went to Wichita Falls to get the, you know, just to get a swing at it because we got a big tournament coming up. This Saturday. Yeah, next next Saturday we're playing in, uh, you know, Southern Elevation Athletics as their annual golf tournament. Right. Um, at Lake Murray, and this will be our second time to play there. Listen, uh, listen. Team game. We got dead last last time, but we have a bad taste in our mouth, and we're going up there. <laughs> And we're going to win that thing. We got dead and, last. And to be fair, there's some pretty good golfers yeah. that play in that tournament. Uh, we have one. But we did not play good. Yeah, we did not. <laughs> I mean, we show up to the tournament. There's one adult and three high schoolers. Yeah. And everybody else in that tournament is probably 30s, 30s yeah. and higher. And, and play a lot of golf. Yeah, um, they do. And I'm not a, like, I don't call myself a golfer by all means. I like play and no, I'll hit some he I'll hit some decent shots here and there but I don't play enough to uh yeah. to carry anybody really um he's lying he's pretty good, <laughs> good. he's ball far we uh we had at our outing we always try to play a competition with team Zane gang and the last three times we had like a best of three deal going on or mm -hmm. best of whatever but it was me and Zane versus Dalton and Grady and yeah. we were 0 and 2 going into the turn, you know, play in this last time. And after the first nine, we had a five shot lead. Five. We had five we were stroke lead. Really full of ourselves. <laughs> Listen, we were, me and him were just joking around at that point. We just went up there happy. We, for it. And then and Dalton and Grady got hot, and we did not. Nope. We started hitting the ball bad, and we missed a probably a two foot putt yep. not to win two. it. Not even two. Feet. Just just to win. Yeah. Uh, on the last hole, and we missed it, and allowed them to win the hole, and they beat us, or they tied with us. Had to go to a playoff, and then we absolutely shanked it yeah. off the tee box. I'm pretty sure I went to the playoff. highway, almost oh, hit a car. Man. I don't remember most of it. So yeah, I um, I got about nine good holes in me that day, and then after that, I was yeah, I was you know. Pretty pretty done. I couldn't I couldn't hit a hit a ball to save my life. I think it's just worn out. Mm -hmm. First time playing like that in a while. So we had a good time though. We did. We had fun. We always have fun playing golf. Yep. It's good stuff. Very relaxing, even though you want to throw your club all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes you want to say no no words. Yeah. Uh, I have a, a really good friend of mine that I went to high school with, and after you know even we started playing golf in high school together, and then. After high school, we'd go play all the time. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you know, he passed away when he was 30 from cancer. You know, rest in peace, Sean Cole. But he, uh, one time we were playing, and he had this brand new driver. And uh, he shanked this ball off the tee and got so mad he broke his club. Oh, wow. And I was yelling at him going, dude, you could have at least gave it to me. <laughs> I need a yeah. new driver. <laughs> Why are you just breaking it? It's brand new. Yeah, you could have gave it to somebody else. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah. He also, one time in high school, we were playing in a in a foursome scramble. And he hit this ball. We we come up on this par five, and it's, a, it's like a dog leg to the left. And you know, the other bunch of woods and trees, and this is at uh, I think it was at Lake Hefner mm -hmm. Golf Course in Northwest Oklahoma City. You know, and we're sitting there just waiting on this group in front of us, and they, they just hit their second shot, and they start going to hit the third right in front of the green, or you know, because they laid up. So he decides I'm gonna go ahead and hit. Like, all right, 
should, we should we should be good. And then he aims at these trees, like, and hits this missile and clears the trees. And we hear this loud bang, and it hits the top of the cart from the group in front of us oh, no. and rolls towards the green, and it ends up like 40 yards from the green and on a par five. It hits the top of the golf cart. Mm -hmm. Once in a million shots. And then they didn't, that guy wasn't mad. Oh, he was mad. He was trying to act like we were hitting the ball on him, at him at purpose, on purpose. Until he found out about that shot. And because he, he even went in and was telling us like they were hitting the ball at us, and we were like, yeah. "Dude, it was our, it was off the tee box." Yeah. <laughs> like it was a once in a million shot. <laughs> like, what was he not happy? Uh, be happy. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we definitely eagled that hole. Nice. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. But yeah, it's uh. I actually haven't since he passed away. I haven't like I haven't played golf as much. I used to go play all the time when I lived in the city because that's that's who I played with. Um, and even when he had cancer, I wouldn't. We I lived here. Uh, I would go to the city, you know, every so often, or go work up there because I owned a business and uh, and I'd take my clubs and we'd hook up and go play and all that stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yep. we're right. take, taking it over to like uh, women's basketball, uh, D1. They the finals was today. Yeah, Caitlin Clark uh, scored thirty points. Had I think it said eight assists, five rebounds, mm -hmm. and they lost by twelve. And they lost. South Carolina got the dub. Yeah, but I still think Caitlin Clark is the goat. I mean, yeah, there's no. Oh, uh, I mean, she went. And this tells you how hard shooting a basketball is, right? Mm -hmm. And when I was coaching the girls this year, I kept trying to reiterate to them, don't get mad if you miss, just keep shooting. Mm -hmm. It'll go, right? Because even great shooters miss. Like she was five for 18 from the field, and she's easily the best shooter in college basketball. Yeah. In my opinion, boys and girls. Like, yeah. that's, she, just, that's just my opinion. Yeah, she has that record uh, or whatever, like yeah. for both. Boys and girls, that's yeah. all right. I mean, and she's hitting from deep, like NBA yeah. range. Like, it's not even doing step backs, like mm -hmm. all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. They shot 37% uh, from the field, Iowa did. Crazy. Whereas South Carolina shot, I think, 40, 46, 47%. Wow. And that's, that's the difference in the game. And, and then South Carolina had, uh, I think, 11 more shots, jump shot, like field goal mm -hmm. attempts than total than uh, Iowa did. Yeah. Crazy, right? It is. Um, yeah. Uh, Final four for men started yesterday. Yep. Purdue and UConn. Yeah. And our championship game will be tomorrow night, Monday yep. night, against uh, UConn. It's Defending champs, UConn right. and Purdue. Um, I mean, Purdue was a favorite to win it last year, and yeah. they got upset. So it's kind of bittersweet for them to go. Uh, we'll see if uh, see if they can handle UConn. You know, yeah. UConn's kind of been there, done that now, and so it's it's yeah. awesome. It's definitely going to be a big man match. I mean, the, the two centers for UConn and Purdue. Purdue's big man, a Zach something. Yeah. But he's a seven four center. Yeah. And the Yukon, I don't know his name, but the Yukon center is seven two. No, yeah, seven two. Seven two yeah. for seven four. Yeah, that's big time. That the NC State center was pretty big too. Oh yeah. He, I yeah. don't know exactly how tall he was, but he was big yeah, too. But that Purdue so Purdue was taller, like yeah. powered over him yeah. and the NC State center was yeah. like it's probably think. what do you think he was six ten, maybe? Uh, I'm gonna guess six seven foot, six, something like, six, that. Eight, something like that. Um, yeah. I mean, I knew he was a little. He was a pretty big guy because yeah. I'd seen some videos and highlights of that guy. But that, yeah, that Purdue guy is just—he's tall. It's like those girls. Like, how do they find six, seven girls to play basketball? So I, she didn't play basketball, but I had an aunt. On my dad's side, that was six eight. Six eight. Six eight. And she didn't play basketball. No, her husband was six six. Oh my! Goodness. And they didn't have any kids. They couldn't have kids. Yeah. It was unfortunate. They lived in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. 
and we used to go up there. We lived there when I was younger, um, before we ended up in California, mm-hmm. and we used to go stay at our at their house all the time. Um, and one time, my my older brother uh, hung himself from a tree on accident. He was trying to make a swing with a jump rope, mm-hmm. and the the it got caught, and then it like wrapped him around his neck and his arm, like right here. Uh, and he couldn't get down. He was like turning purple. <laughs> oh, no. And so I had to go inside. And I was telling my aunt and uncle, I was like, oh, he's, you know, he's hanging himself in the tree. We need help, need help. And she comes out there and just literally stands right next to him on the tree and grabs him and holds him like this mm-hmm. and then hooks it. Wow. Down. That's how tall she was. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Her fa- their favorite thing to do was uh, uh, go square dancing. They went square dancing a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it was fun. We used to go with them and stuff, you know, and uh, we'd never seen anything like it. There's a bunch of old people wow. square dance. If you've never seen, have you ever seen anybody square mm-hmm. dance? Never. You should look it up. I will. It's, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely, uh, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's just uh, a lot of moving, though. A lot yeah. of moving, a lot of moving around when we do it. It's not quite as busy as like swing or any mm. of that stuff, because I think all the people are too old to swing. Yeah, a lot of broken hips. Oh, All right, that takes it to what Zane Gang has coming up, the upcoming schedule for Zane Gang. Then you really need to listen because we have some bangers for y'all. And uh, so coming up, the first after this podcast will be the third mic'd up video for Zane Gang, and we'll be playing Snyder. Uh, I'll be mic'd up that game. Hopefully, I play good. Can't play bad that game because <laughs> then I won't post it. No, I want. I want to say episode one, Mike. Uh, no, two was against Snyder. No, no, no. One was against Snyder. One was against Snyder. Two was in Pathway. Or no, no, not Pathway. Uh, one in the city. Because the one was you did um, the um, is a tournament. Uh, did you ever upload that one? No, no, no. no you no, didn't no, upload that no, one. No, no. Okay. That one. That That's one. Had alarm. False alarm. <laughs> yeah, it's still in the beginning. It's still false still going. alarm. It's still going. No. Never mind. Forget it happened. <laughs> no, that one had my difficulties. Oh yeah. Okay. No, but the first one did had nine point five k views. So really, I need y'all to get to yeah. ten point five k views. The Snyder one. Yeah. So try to increase it, but for that to happen, you gotta like and subscribe. That's right. right? You have to so, like and subscribe for this. Also, coming up is a uh, live stream. That's right. We're going to do a live stream live from Lake Murray Golf Club. Live, everybody. So it's only a once in a lifetime about, thing. About choke when I was talking just now. I was like, did you not hear my voice go out? I was like, Lake Murray Golf <laughs> Club. I didn't even notice. Oh, man. Yeah, it's like I just disappeared. Oh. Sorry, I wasn't even looking at you. <laughs> you probably would have fell uh, yeah. in the chair. I didn't, I didn't even know. Oh, uh, yeah. Lake Murray Golf Course, Team Zane Gang. Representing. Uh, with live stream. There might be uh, two, three parts to it. Like yeah, that. part one, part um, two. Let's we're going to cut it into some segments, but be ready for it. Yep. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I think that's uh, all we got for this episode, man. It's been a pleasure, like always, to uh, – sit here and chat about sports yep. and you know sometimes life things and get on like square and, dancing and rants and rants from uh my childhood uh trauma <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh like seeing my brother almost hang himself yeah uh but yeah okay we well, guess we'll just call it don't forget to like and subscribe uh to zane gang and then you can look up my youtube channel which is at Coach Wood, right? Uh, and you'll see me on there. And make sure you like and subscribe that as well. So uh, tune in next time. That's right. Z, G is out of here.